Well, hello and welcome once again. J76NY here. Back with U48 after our attack on that convoy and our subsequent depth charging. Uh, we are in a position to re-engage them. Um, what I was thinking about doing was going around them and uh, re-engaging them. Maybe getting another ship down. Uh, but they got a lot of escorts and uh, not really too fond of the idea of having to... Uh, take on more escorts. There's a lot of them out there. I'd hate to uh, lose the opportunity to sink some of them, but I do not want to get sunk. So, <laughs> there's a, another possibility that we could uh, do. That's something I didn't even think of, was uh, we could go get these lifeboats. We did sink that county class. Um... I think the uh, captain of the county class bringing him back as a uh, prisoner of war might very well help us out. So we're going to go get the, uh, go see who's in those lifeboats and uh, continue on with our patrol. We've got, uh, let's see, we're about halfway to our uh, required amount of shipping sunk. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go check out these lifeboats and then we're going to get back to our patrol. Um, going to have to uh, make good shots with our torpedoes because we only have three of them left and we got to get that 4,258 up to 7,000. Let's go see who's in those lifeboats. All right, there we are. We've got a few of them right there. There's quite a lot of sailors bobbing along in lifeboats. There's one, two, three, I think five lifeboats. So we're going to go interact with them and see what they have for us. Let's take a look here. First lifeboat. Bunch of sailors. Second lifeboat. Bunch of sailors. I guess I can give them all supplies. Bunch of sailors. And this one's got to have the captain on it. Maybe not. Wow, well, look at that. Right, well, I guess we can uh, give these guys supplies here. Give these guys some cheese. And give them some... Oh, we already gave these guys cheese. Guess we'll uh, move on to the next one. Really thought there would be an uh, officer that we could... Um, interact with, but I guess not. I'll just give them a bunch of fruit and food and stuff and be on our way. Uh, dried fish. There you go. You won't starve and I have a feeling you're uh, Your captain's gonna, or your ships are gonna come back for you anytime, so there you go. Don't starve. And we're gonna go continue on with our patrol here. We did pick up something on a hydrophone check. It is a uh, single ship 
we're kind of moving on a parallel course to get out in front of them and ambush them. I'll uh, show you what it looks like on the map here. We are moving in this direction. Uh, the single blip was kind of heading in this direction, so we're going to be getting in front of them to uh, make an attack. Uh, hopefully we don't uh, lose sight of them. It's 4 o'clock, so it's probably going to be a night attack by the time we get into position, but uh, we'll manage that when the time comes. Alright, we do have it here. Uh, it is a single merchant ship. Uh, a little far away to be trying to identify it, but I think I could probably do that anyway. Uh, Empire Tower. Take the distance reading here and see what it says. Whoop. Damn it. Uh, like I said, it is kind of far away here. Did already identify this guy. Not sure why it's not showing up here. The set that. But if you take a look on the map, we are moving to intercept. Uh, they are kind of far away. So, about six miles. Again, here, I guess. Seven miles. Not the only. Not the only ship we have in the area either, so. See how fast she's going. Distance it takes seems to take quite a for while to uh, find their speed. Thirteen kilometers an hour. All right. Well, let's get the uh, periscope down, get into a better position, and attack here. All right, we're doing some final readings here before we uh, attack. Looks like it's about ninety to the left. I did uh, do some maintenance on my torpedo here, so... Alright. We're gonna do uh, one torpedo and see how we do with this one. Alright, we're good to go. Fire. Oh, we got two torpedoes now. Hmm. Can't even see that one. But we'll see how we did with this. Like the torpedo's running pretty good. We are kind of far out here. At least we have to fire again. I'm gonna just keep this locked in. 
And we were a couple miles out when we uh, engaged them, so... Not sure this guy has any type of... Uh, I don't think he has any armament, so we could uh, actually come up to the surface and use our deck gun. But we do have more contacts out here, too, so... We'll see how this one torpedo goes. We may uh, may want to I don't know re-engage him with the deck gun and then move on, or see how this goes. Let's take a look at our torpedo here. See, there it is, right there. Torpedo has covered half the distance. There's our prey. So stressful sitting here watching a torpedo. See how close that torpedo actually is. Oh, it's pretty close. Hang on. Wanna miss this. Got him. Now this guy's working on the uh, rigging. He's mopping. Hit her almost directly midship. They put their fire out, or are they sinking? Like they might have lost power, except for this guy who's welding something on the forecastle. Mildred Pauline. It's the Mildred Pauline. Doesn't really look like they're abandoning ship. Serious damage. The one torpedo didn't do it. Hmm. What to do? I don't really want to use another torpedo on this guy, but... I also don't want to lose him. Come up to the surface and uh, man the deck gun. Tanks anblasen. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. All right, there he goes up there. There's our prey. Uh, let's have uh hell happening here. Have you manned the deck gun? It is too far. Get our speed built up here. All right, Krautman.
switching to uh, armor piercing here. And we are still pretty far out, but I'm going to take a shot. Take at least one shot. Whoops, I guess that's not how you take a shot. Heavy seas. Ready? Whoops. All right, well, we'll wait until we're a little bit closer to uh, start shooting away. It does look like they're abandoning ship. So... Yeah, they are abandoning their ship. Taking a little bit to get close to them. Speed up. All right, guess we can come to a stop here. Captain, do your thing. Wow, sailed right over it. Whoops. Uh, let's try and target the bow here. Some into the stern to open up holes. Whoa. Okay, I guess that sh ship is sinking. So we'll, uh, take a look at her here. Yeah, there she goes. Alright, send the message. One torpedo and some deck gun shots. What it took. Alright. Let's take a look at these lifeboats, see what we have. We got a captain and an engineer. Take them on board as prisoners. Then give the rest of their crew some supplies. There you go, you can have some spam. And then the other lifeboat, who do we have? Bunch of sailors. Oops. Click to interact. And a diver. Uh, what do we want to give you? Some dried fish. There you go. Alright. We gave him some food. Uh, we've still got 2,200 miles left to go uh, to accomplish our mission. Or get the mileage we need. Uh, let's have you perform some uh, maintenance there. And uh, be on our way. Now the other two convoys were out in this area. It's uh, 6 o'clock at night. We're going to move off in this direction. Get our diesel engines fired up. Fire up that compressor. And maybe try and engage another target. Got three torpedoes. Or two torpedoes now. Or if I could... Shoot the guys on, uh... Hmm. You could go full-blown Mush Morton on him. Hang on. Now I'm kind of curious. I wonder if I could even see him. I don't even know where they would be. Probably somewhere off in there. Oh, wait. What do we have here? Yeah, I think it was uh, 
Bush Morton and the Wahoo who uh, gunned down survivors. I think he actually hit them with his sub too. Ran over their lifeboats and them floating in the water. But we're not going to do that. So uh, we'll just go from there. Whatever we come up with next, uh, it's going to be our next target. All right, so we do have them in sight. It is really hard to see because it's so dark. And the uh, waves are pretty high here. So uh, I'm going to go with it's another Empire ship. Uh, I don't like the look of those flags, though. I don't want to accidentally sink a... A non-combatant, or uh, take a look here. Let's cheat. I think that's a Spanish flag. Hmm. You have to let this guy go. Send the value here. Our battery is pretty low. We do have other contacts in the area. But I don't know if I should be uh, attacking this guy here. Do a quick... Uh... How wow with my senior staff. Here, also known as Google. I think that is a Spanish flag. Yeah, it's Spanish. I don't think we can shoot at them. So, we're going to have to let this guy go and continue on with our patrol. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be uh, hitting this guy. So we'll cancel the alarm. alarm and turn around. Come up to the surface. And uh, hopefully the next ship we uh, encounter is going to be uh, during the day. So that we can actually see what we're doing. Alright, see you then. All right, we, we have got aircraft coming in here. I've given the order to crash dive. I don't see where these aircraft could be. I don't know if uh, aircraft are real easy to spot here in the game. Oh, there they are right there. Oh, they are depth charging me. Fifty meters. I don't know if our uh, sub can take that. Some fish fl floating by. Get where is this? Two hundred forty meters. So yeah, we got we got plenty of uh, depth below keel. Fifty. All right. Well, let's uh, go up to periscope depth. Auf zero tiefe gehen. He's on the hydrophone. Uh, he's doing damage control somewhere. I don't know. I think he's just standing there. Sechzig. Not sure what he's fixing, but whatever. All right, so we're going to get up to periscope depth, and which we are now. Send the uh, report that we saw. Airplane. All right, he's in the listening room. Alarm abgebrochen. All right, I guess the plane's gone. Let's uh kind of head south a little bit here. Legen Stay away from, the, uh, away from the uh, away from the Irish coast. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Ei, ei, Herr Kaloy. Yeah, aircraft detected Legen still. Jawohl. What's he doing? Did 
we gotta give them some time to actually get to the attack periscope. If we can see the, uh, see the plane. I think they were right behind us, so might be better to go this way, right? There they are. Up there. See them? Oh, that's cool. Like they're heading away. All right, well, it is what it is. I don't think we took a whole lot of damage in that one, but our hydrophone isn't picking up anything, so uh, we're going to pop up to the surface here and continue on with our patrol. We've got a bunch of miles left to go. Hopefully this guy doesn't decide to... Oh, he is coming back. Yeah. Periscoped up. Change course here. Actually, you go down to... Go down to 50 meters. Just to get away from him. And pick up our speed here. Oh. So we're going to cruise around for the time being and hopefully get away from this uh, aircraft. Does this look familiar to you guys or not? Here, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven ships. On the surface, too. Yes, we are. All right, so we have 11 ships. I don't know if I want to engage 11 ships or not. I know I'm being overly cautious, but... I don't want to lose my boat. I think uh, attacking these guys would be a good way to lose the... Uh, lose the U-48. Uh, let's go down to periscope depth. You on the uh, listening room? You are. Give you a helper. Uh, let's see. Do a helper too. Seems to be a convoy. Hey, you don't say. What the hell? They're way down there. They're quite a ways away. Seven to fifteen ships. Hmm. Well, that may be something that we want to uh want to target. Actually, seven to fifteen ships. I'm not really sure here. It's a dilemma. I don't want to risk my sub, but. I also kind of want to sink these guys. Let's uh, shadow them. Shadow them for a while and see if uh, how far out are they. About 30 miles. Alright, so we're going to come up to the surface. Oh, oh, there's one behind us. That's the group that we were looking at there. Hmm. Yeah, well, what to do? Might not be a good idea to be on the surface with that group that's out there. Uh... I think we're still, um... Looking through the periscope for some reason. Hmm. 
wechseln auf Dieselmotoren. Yep, still looking through the periscope. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Off in this general direction here for now. Holy shit, low air reserves. That diesel compressor up and running. Here we go. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. We go to Periscope Depth. I'm looking for the individual target here. But yeah, I'm going to disengage here. Cancel the alarm. Head up onto the surface. Continue on our patrol here. Going to move out. Kind of in a direction like this. Then come up. Do a patrol like that. That'll bring us pretty close to our last, uh, the last of our patrol patterns here. So. We will uh, see if we can find some uh, lone rangers to pick off and not risk our lives. All right, so strangely enough, this convoy that we found here, these guys, it says they're German. They've got flags that say they're German, but this guy does not. I'm a little confused. Maybe a false flag? I don't even know if... That's a thing. Is this guy even moving? Can't tell if he's moving or not. We did get a little bit close. So, yeah, it's definitely not a German. Uh, it's a, another escort there. We're in a bit of a spot here. I'm going to try and speed up a little bit. Hope they don't pick us up. But I think I might have uh kind of put that one in. Hope they don't pick us up. Seven to five. Would be a nice little target to, to go after here. Take a look at some of the other ships, see what we we have. Uh that's another escort. This is our uh, supposed German friend here. I'm pretty sure this is an escort. Whoop. Yep, didn't want to do that. That says he's German. Sneaky, very sneaky of these guys. It's got to be a unknown warship. That's a British, uh, British ship there. But with all these escorts, I don't really want to tangle with this group. So we're going to get away from them and look for something else. Okay, so we do have our contact that we were hoping for here. We're looking up at the sky here, so. Not quite at Periscope depth. But we can start looking at this guy here. Our single ship. It's a merchant. Whoa. What is this? Something else out there? Might be another ship out there that I didn't see. He's a ways away. I didn't think he was that far away. See, is there more than one? No. 
far away is he? Five miles. Pick up the pace a little bit here. These aren't exactly cooperating with uh, being able to identify these ships here. I don't think it's an Empire Hour. I think it's that Spanish ship again. It kind of looks like he's turning towards me. Take a look. It's decks a wash already. No, that's uh, not a Spanish ship. I think that's Swedish. Fair game. Let's go. All right, let's go. We're gonna do this. Uh. Really? Where? Oh, back there. Those guys. All right. Well, it is what it is. Lock him in. I don't think it's that. Well, with this angle, it's kind of hard to tell what the stacks look like. Not a destroyer. Empire Tower. We'll go with Empire Tower. Uh, find the distance first here. Ten kilometers. There's got to be another ship out there somewhere. I know that one. What was that 10 kilometers away? Well, maybe it is this this guy here. He's pretty far. Can't be right. Ten kilometers. Oh, maybe it is. Doesn't look like it's that far on the map. Can't be right. Five kilometers. I was saying nine. Schiffschrauben, Herr Kaloy. I really don't know if I believe this. Turn into him a little bit. Jawohl. But I will monitor the situation and, uh, once we get into a firing position, well, I'll be back. All right, we're about a mile and a half away from him now, at least uh, in terms of this. Uh, 59 degrees, it's the only thing we have left to set. I'm going to redo the, uh, we'll go with, we'll go with, uh, yeah, we'll go with 59. And redo the, uh, the distance. Was identified as the Delaro. So there's that. 
I'm gonna put two fish out just because I wanna make sure that they uh oh shit, doing maintenance. I guess we'll oh, do one. Be do one here. I wanna make sure oh, that All right, it looks like 64 now. We'll put him on the bow. We'll go with 66 once we uh, redo this here. Seven sounds good. And fire. Close! All right, first torpedoes away. We'll see how we do here. Doing maintenance on that one torpedo, so. And we can watch our fish move in. Schneller, schneller! Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Start moving forward. At least we have to uh, bring up the uh, depth charges. There's our fish right there. And towards our target. Got my first officer behind me. While we wait, we give him some more uh, puffs to eat. Hopefully he eats them. You guys are familiar with my channel. You know uh, Admiral Noah sitting behind me giving his advice and orders. Looks like the uh, fish is doing pretty good. We're going to actually speed up here a little bit. Wait if we have to... Uh, Come up and fire the deck gun, we can. Torpedo is inbound. Looking pretty good. Watch and see how we did. Fairly rough seas here. Washing right over the deck. But I, well, there we go. He's looking for us. It's like she's going down by the bow pretty quick. And they're abandoning ship. Torpedo covered half the distance, huh? The hit. Fire on board. Serious damage. Gonna sink or not? Still doing maintenance on that torpedo. Hmm, all right, well. Pretty sure the ship's sinking. I'm up to the surface here. Surface of the boat. We got a new communication. Seems to be encrypted with a foreign cipher and we can't decode it. Our radio men can still track the source using radio direction finder. Okay. Alright, let's get Krautman on the uh on the deck gun here.
Whoop, put him on the wrong gun. There you go, go to the deck gun. Is that them shooting at me? Oh. And they are out there. We're pretty far away. Pretty sure that ship's sinking. But we're gonna take some shots at it nonetheless. Here we hit her. Missed. Seem to be getting a little a little better. That ship's got to be sinking. Hmm. All right, let's uh. There we go. We're shooting at a sunk ship. Let's come on over this way. Kind of curious here if I can uh. I can shoot those lifeboats. Might be a bad idea though. Can't even see him now. Alright, well let's get over to the lifeboats here. There they are, right there. Leben Sie den Kurs an. Schneller, schneller. Yo, how close we have to get to interact with the lifeboats? Ah! Have Krautman get on the observation. Lifeboats too far, huh? Where are they? No, they're out here somewhere. Go down a little bit. Moving too fast. Oh, okay. Let me stop then. There we go. All right. See what we have here, Captain. Engineer. Let's give the rest of these guys some food. And what do we want to give them? Give them some fish here. All right, so we did our duty there. Now all we have to do is uh, finish our patrol, the mileage in our patrol, so. We'll get out of, uh, out of here. See if there's anything else, uh, anything else on our way towards the, uh, the edge of the patrol area. Still have one torpedo left, so we may be able to, uh, sink something else. Alright, we did, uh, complete our patrol. Ending the report now. Mission complete, return back to port. At some point, if I do have enough torpedoes, make the uh, trip manually. I'm going to do that, but right now we don't. So five days later, we are back in Willemshaven.
Sunday, December 17th, 1939. Into port we go. Another successful patrol, I'd say. Dr. Ernst Prine gets the U-Boat War Badge, is awarded to a crew member that participates in two war patrols. Everybody's going to get this. Uh, Fritz Krautman is less than 100 points away from getting the Knight's Cross. Campaign objective, we are 15,000 tons away from... Uh, that campaign objective. Uh, ship HMY Alexandra was registered in Norway and carrying utilities from Halifax to Liverpool. 4,258 tons. Mildred Pauline was registered in Canada and was carrying raw resources from Halifax to Liverpool. Gross registered tonnage was 6,061. The Delario. Registered in Sweden, was carrying medical supplies from Halifax to Liverpool with 57.94 tons. We didn't get credit for uh, sinking that. Oh, there we go. Devonshire County Class Cruiser. All right. Here we go. We are... Back in port. Or if any of these guys get upgrades. Here, we got some upgrades to give out. We're going to do that in the next episode, but for now we're going to turn over our... Turn over our prisoners here. There we go. Turned over all of our prisoners. And we are... Ready to go on patrol again. I have too many officers on board. Leave some of them on land. But we'll worry about that in the next episode. Anyway, if you like this one, hit the like button. If you have any tips or advice, leave those in the comment section down below. Uh, if you want to follow along with the U-48, hit the subscribe and uh, you can come along with us. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.